What the hell is up, my friends? Mario Kaleo here, back again with another exciting, thrilling installment of From Grateful to Greatness. Boom. And uh, by the way, happy, happy Friday. It's finally fucking Friday. Rejoice. Love, live, laugh, all that good stuff. Every video starts off with me being grateful, so I am grateful for my family, my friends, my fiance, the three Fs, all of you who follow me on social media, everyone who's taking the time to watch these videos, and God and the universe for allowing your boy yet another day on this planet to talk to you. And before we get into today's video, into today's video, I want to say, um... And it's kind of what this video is about, actually, a little bit. But um, I want to say thank you to uh, Mandy at the Facebook page Carved From Stone because she, she actually took the time to send me a video about the video I did yesterday. And it really, really, really moved me and resonated me with in the whatever, in me, with me, whatever it is. And, and it really hit home something that has been told to me in the past and has been told to me by especially lately by two other people and um that would be my fiance julia who i don't know what the hell i'd do without her because she's a she's a tough tough ass just you know no nonsense type that will tell you straight up what it is and what the problem is and how to how to deal with it and also um a new friend i've you know we kind of become friends with this guy named brendan dilly who's an author and he's you know way ahead of me in the whole author game he's been doing it for a while he's the same age as me actually but really really just intelligent cat and you know for a guy who's got so many people following him and asking him questions he is just it's unbelievable to me that he takes the time to actually answer questions and have conversations with me. So, that being said, I, I don't give shout outs or pander to people just, you know, for any reason other than I truly connect to them in some way, shape, or form. So, anytime you see me giving a shout out to somebody, it means that I relate to that person. It means that I actually like what they do, what they're about, whatever. It's not just because I want to get a shout out back in return. I don't do that shit. So, you know, just so you guys know that. Um, and I just want to say thanks to them, especially because they have been reminding me and it's taken me three minutes to get to this point, what this video is about. And I've said it a couple times today on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and that's be proud of your progress. I have such a big problem with this. It is probably my biggest character flaw is that I am unbelievably hard on myself. I don't, you know, I'll let one bad thing make me forget about all the good things I've done. And this is a self-destructive character trait because what it what happens is is you, you know, and I think a lot of people deal with this. I think a lot of you guys deal with this. You're so hard on yourself. I am so hard on myself. I make myself feel like, man, like because I'm not at a certain point fitness wise, at a certain point financially, at a certain point in my life or a career, or I don't have a certain amount of things that I'm a failure or I've messed up or this, this, that, and the other. And I let all that shit undermine every good thing I've done. And it took that video from Mandy, it took everything my 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 fiance has been saying to me. It's it took a, some great advice from Brendan to make me realize that man, I had to step back and say, dude, that is enough. It's just enough. Like y you have people out there who really believe in you. And you have done some really great things. You've done some amazing things. You you have progressed in the last five years more than you did in the 27 before it and I want to tell you guys that I want to tell you if you're working on fixing things that you've done wrong and you're doing it every day and you're out there and you're trying and you're and you're hustling and you're working and busting your ass man listen 
You do have to be your own worst critic in a sense because you do have to not get too high on yourself and you've got to keep yourself humble and you got to keep working and progressing as a human being and, you know, seeking out advice from others. That's why I'm humble. You know, I stay humble. I seek out advice from people like that guy, Brendan, or I talk to my, my fiance. I seek out, you know, um, thoughts and input from others because I believe I can learn from anyone. And... But that being said, as hard as you can be on yourself, you got to take a breath once in a while, step back and be proud of your progress. Be proud of what you've done. Be proud of what you've accomplished. You know, it takes a lot for somebody to change and it doesn't happen overnight. And, and, and the fact that we are progressing and we are striving and improving, man, a lot of people aren't. A lot of people are out there still repeating the same bullshit mistakes over and over and over again and wondering why their lives are the way they are. And if you are among the people like me who are out every day trying to improve their lives and fixing things and working and learning and, and, and really just striving to improve and get to the, to a higher place, man, look back at who you were. And then look at who you are now and just be proud. It doesn't have to be all damn day just for a minute or two minutes. Take a breath. <sighs> be proud of your progress. I just want you guys to take that second and let yourself feel good about who you are and what you've done. And that is it, my friends. Thank you guys for uh, all the uh, awesome words yesterday with that emotional ass video I posted. And thank you for watching this one today. And, um, you know, all right. Threw an impression there for you, a little quagmire. Remember, all you need is a start and some heart. Peace.